all honesty, it's it's a dream come true. The whole project, working with one of my best friends, directed by one of our best friends, in our favorite characters coming together finally. The whole thing feels surreal. You can't do a good movie unless you really have a why and a how. And with, with, with Hugh, that was that answered everything, really. I mean, it was uh, one of those situations that we just, everybody sort of saw the writing on the wall and knew once we figured out how to utilize uh, the character in the right way, and that was in no small part due to you know Hugh um, helping us, it was uh, it was just this incredibly emotional, funny, joy-filled uh, journey that we were all stoked to jump on. Oh, Ooh. it's those days we can't necessarily talk about. <laughs> well, I can talk about the first day we walked on set wearing the uniform, and for me, yeah. wearing the yellow and blue for the first time, but together we came out, and there we were, at Pinewood here in London and the crew that, you know, let's just say they worked a lot of movies yeah. before, just, there was a hush amongst everyone and it was, that was a really cool moment. Yeah, I didn't, I don't, I knew it was something auspicious about it, but I, I didn't recognize how intense that would feel. Uh, that whole crew was just silent when we were standing next to each other in those suits and it was a real uh, eye opener for me. Shocked, yeah. I can't believe it. It's so cool. It's like, I mean, it feels like you're back on set in a way because there was always Ryan, Hugh and then a million amazing stunt people. So it kind of feels like, yeah, we're back at, back on set. Uh, being on set with Hugh and Ryan, a laugh a minute, hard to keep up with. So I actively didn't try. I was like, I'm just going to absorb the jokes and not try and partake because I don't think I'd stand a chance. But it's so fun. They're the nicest guys you could wish to work for. It's, yeah, fantastic experience. Joining the MCU, a lot of pressure. It's the first buzzword, I would say. Um, but an honor as well. I mean, I didn't grow up with the films that much. I'm sort of coming to them later in life, and it's blowing my mind. Like, the community, the heart in all these stories, the fact that children, the amount that children can get from it, as well as people throughout their adulthood, no matter who you are, what stage of life, they're just they're so inspirational, and it's, it's an honor. Sandra is out of the ordinary. She plays by her own rules. I think she's very much the story of her own story, had the hero of her own storyline. Uh, yeah. You have to see this film on the big screen. I just found out about something called like 4X today. Wind, rain, what the hell? I feel like this is everyone's known about this for years and I'm only just catching up, but you should see it in that, I think, if you can. Otherwise, yeah, big screen. You cannot watch this on your laptop. Don't you dare. Yeah. I feel very grateful to be getting to play Peter again. Had so much fun with it the first time. And uh, yeah, to do it on an even bigger canvas with Wolverine, I mean, come on. Well, the reason you should see this on the cinema in the big screen is because it's a big movie. It's a loud movie. It's a beautiful movie that thousands of people work very hard on. So why not go see it in darkness, surrounded by friends and strangers, and just have a blast. Do it. Well, I just, you know, we made this movie really for for the audience. We built a movie trying to just satisfy this incredibly loyal fan base for these characters, for the Marvel Universe, and uh, to be able to get everyone back in cinemas this summer with this movie we've all waited for. Very exciting. I mean, I knew going in that directing the first ever R-rated MCU movie was a privilege. It was definitely an opportunity, and I came at it really excited and grateful. Well, the pressure was on because I've seen these events around the world and I just came from Berlin and seeing what I see so far, I know that the UK is about to bring it. I can't wait to see what's around this corner. Man, bringing these two guys together in one movie, something that's been anticipated for decades, two icons, I, there are no words to describe how much fun it was. Sean Levy is the only person who could have directed this movie. Um, talk about his experience in basically every genre possible. He's a killer with comedy and he's so good with emotion and relationships and also you have two giant icons playing roles that they were born to play and he created the perfect environment for them and the entire cast and crew to give their all every single day. It's hard to say what my most memorable moment is on set without spoiling things, but I will say there was one scene that became one of the funniest scenes in the film, and originally it was just one line of description on the page. This thing happens, and we went out there to walk the set and talk about the scene, and just Sean and Ryan and Hugh all kind of riffed and birthed this magical, you know, comedy classic into existence. 
Fans need to go see this on the big screen for a couple reasons. One, it is meant to be enjoyed and watched together. And secondly, we just had some of the most skilled craftsmen and artisans on this film. So there is so much detail in every single frame, everything you see, and it really deserves to be seen on a big screen.